It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Quigley family. Jack, Barbara, Tony, Becky, and Bob, ready for action. And the Berger family. Gary, Gail, Ruby, Marilyn, and Leslie, on your mark. Let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Johnson. Thank you. Howard, hardly seems possible. We've only been at sea three days. Uh, Howard, could I see you? I just want to ask you, just you can answer right from there. This is our producer, Mr. Howard Felsher. It's very simple. Well, you better come here now. I'll tell you why. You were such a star the last time. What happens if you do not pay your exorcist? I'm damned. You get repossessed. Ah! All right, let's meet the winning family, the friendly. How are you? Pretty good, Richard. Pretty oh, good. boy. My heart is still pounding from yesterday. You just did so well. Never thought you were going to get the big money, but you won $5,297. Feels good. Fantastic. Remind me of all the people you brought along. I brought my wife, her brother, his lovely wife, and my brother-in-law, Bob. Okay. Now, were you a carpenter or are you a carpenter? Trying to get out of it. Yeah, don't get out of it. The word hammer. That might stay. Yesterday might stay. was the whole thing. And you have a five-year-old and a seven-month-old little girl. What's her name? Amber. All right. Now, is this your brother? It certainly is. Tony, what's happening? Not much. You gotta speak up. <laughs> they wanna, they gotta, everybody's got to hear you. If I talk quiet like that, no one would listen. What's her name again? Barbara. Good. What's your little girl's name? Amber. Amber. Good. That's easy. And you're or her brother. What do you do? I hang drywall for a living. That's right. Is that any kind of way to run an airline? No. Who is this pretty lady? This is my wife. Right. And you have a family? I sure do. One son. And his name? Adam. Adam. Good name. And you're Eve, of course. <laughs> no, not quite. No, no, you're Bob. Right. We welcome you. Here's a family going to challenge you right now called the Burger. Hop! How are you, Gary? Nice to meet you, Richard. What have you got with you here today? Well, I've got my wife, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my daughter, Leslie. Oh, he speaks up fine. What do you do, Gary? I'm a telephone repairman. Yeah? Oh, you yeah. need those big storms. Everybody got washed right, out. Yeah. You were very busy, I guess. Very busy. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Gail? How do how you, are you do? Just great. She Excited. speaks up prettily. How are you? Fine. Where do you live? Van Nuys, San Fernando, Hot Hot Valley. The Hot Hot Valley? Yes, indeed. Don't kid America now. We're all freezing here. It's not really <laughs> I'm, I'm Who is this lady to you? My best mother. Is it my real? only mother. How are you, Ruby? Give me a kiss. You kiss old ladies? You must be hard okay. up. Hard <laughs> up, oh, Ruby. Ruby. They, they're the best kind. Look at the They've had more experience. <laughs> right. Well, that that's that's the reason. Touche on that. Touche on that. Yeah, you bet. Looks like we've got a winner here. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> Marilyn, how are you? Dinner. Fine. Who's this darling lady My to you? My mom, too. Is she cute she as a isn't button? She? Are you a married world. lady? Not this week. <laughs> Times are changing. Who is lovely Leslie? This is my niece. Oh, yeah? How are They're you? Grown nice. and days. How old are you? Almost 15. <laughs> Almost. You're as pretty as a picture. Where do you go to school? Uh, Birmingham High School. Got to speak up loud. Birmingham High School. That's Encina, correct. California. Yeah. We'll all be watching. Say hi to everyone at school. Hi, everyone at school. Oh, she <laughs> learns well. Wish both families the best of luck. Let's play the face off. Come on. Here we go. We survey. 100 people, the top seven answers they gave us to this question. Your object is to try and find the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name a sexy garment worn by women. Gary. A nightgown. A nightgown. May I see nightgown? Oh, negligee and nighty. 38 people said it out of 100, number one, the most popular. No way you can beat it. The way you build that bank up, you and your family, Reveal the remaining answers on the board, Gary. If you leave any out at all, Jack and his family can steal the bank that you've built up by identifying one answer. 
But as you control the bank, you don't have to play. Talk it over. Gonna play? You're gonna pass. Right. How about it, girls? Play. Let's play. Come on, you all wear play. underwear. Let's you know what? <laughs> More women here. They ought to know all about. Yeah, I hope so. Let's play. Right. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Come here. Okay. When you get back there, tell them all to speak up. Speak up. Of course. <laughs> otherwise, everybody's gonna be adjusting them. You're gonna play. Play. Jack, they're gonna play. They are going to play. All right, rejoin your family. You. Gail, a sexy garment worn by women. Oh. Three seconds. Bikini. You don't have to lean in. Show me a bikini. There it is. 34 people said it, $72. Ruby, my flower, I need a sexy garment worn by women. How about a bra? I'll take two of them. <laughs> Show me a bra! Very good. Don't tell your mother. Yes, they do know something, Gary, about these little articles. Four answers remain. Marilyn, a sexy garment worn by women. Lacy underpants. Don't stop now. Oh, let's keep going. Lacy underpants. <laughs> This would be a good time for commercial, I think. But no, we'll carry on here. You are doing so well, lovely Leslie. A sexy garment, please, worn by women. Uh, how about a garter? A garter? Just something sexy. Show me garter! <laughs> not there. Did not make our top seven answers. $89 there, one strike. Two more strikes, you'll lose control of the question. Quigley's will have a chance to steal. Gary, sexy garment worn by women. Three answers remain. How about, uh, high boots? Uh, boots? <laughs> Tells me a little more about you than I, uh, the old high boots. Sure. Show me the old high boots gag. But we thank you for the thought. <laughs> You've made a lot of people happy in the San Fernando Valley. Two strikes. You don't need another strike now because that will be bad. Gail, I need a sexy garment worn by women. Nylon stockings. Nylon stocking. Show me nylons. Are they there? Wide open. Talk it over right now. Mini skirt. Need an answer. I hated to see him go, and I'll say mini skirt. Mini skirt. Chauvinist. One moment you're a liberated man helping with the babies. Next moment you're a chauvinist. If mini skirt is up there, you're going to steal the money in the bank. If it is not there, the burgers will get to keep it. Show me a mini skirt. You got it. <laughs> All right, let's see number five. Baby. Oh, number six. Hot pants. Oh, how quickly we forget. All right, you don't have anything, and you've got to get on the board. Ruby, the first family that gets two hundred dollars, wins the game, and plays fast money. We'll do that right after we do this. Nothing for the burgers. Gail, come on. Father, let's play the face off. Get your hand off of that. My goodness me. During the break, we give out little things here, some grapes and oranges, and so I just wanted them. They get a little stingy with it sometimes, and we're ready to go. I noticed your hand got up there, Gail. Naughty, naughty. That's called an unfair advantage. Here we go. Surveyed 100 people. The top five answers they gave us are up on the board to this question. Name something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up. Gail. A nurse. Show me a nurse. <laughs> 50 people out of 100 said it. That's the most popular answer. Are you going to play or are you going to pass? Let's play. We'll play. We'll play. Let's play. Let me explain. You don't have to go, we'll play. <laughs> Just talk normally and we'll, okay. you're going to play? We'll play. They're going to play. Okay? Please join your family. Here we go. They're gonna play, and I get to speak to Ruby. Yes, sir. Name something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up. They want to be a mommy. Right. 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 Show me a mommy. Right. Okay. Twenty-eight people said that. Seventy-eight dollars in the bank. Three answers remain. Marilyn. They want to be an actress. An actress. Really? I think so. Maybe we'll take a look. An actress. Yeah! Very good, Marilyn. 
Eight people said it. Eighty-six dollars there. Lovely Leslie. A uh, teacher. A teacher? Is that what you want to be when you grow up? Is I'm it? grown up. <laughs> oh, you said you're almost. Said you're almost fifteen. You want to be a teacher? No. No? <laughs> Show me a teacher. Good girl. Six people said it. Ninety-two dollars. No, one strike on you. Only one answer remains. I want something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up, Gary. A hairdresser. Oh, no. I thought that was a little boy. <laughs> Show me a hairdresser. That's your first strike. Two more strikes. You'll lose control of this question. The Quigleys will be able to steal. Gail. A ballerina. A ballerina. If ballerina is up there, you've made a clean sweep. Show me a ballerina. That is your second strike. All right. This do-or-die situation, little Ruby. One more strike. Quigley's will have a chance to steal, but you can do it right now. Tell me something that little girls say they want to be when they grow up. Three seconds. Come on. Uh, Here you go. Here's your chance right now. The buzzer you came before the answer. Stewardess. Stewardess. Dancer. Come, more. Dancer. That's Airline all? Stewardess. More. More. <laughs> Need an answer, Jack. I'm just going to go with it because my wife is one that'd like to be a stewardess. A stewardess. Right. Okay, if stewardess is on the board, you will steal the money in the bank that was built up by the burgers. But if stewardess is not there, the burgers will keep the money. Show me stewardess. Uh, you got it. You got it. Wonder what it could be. If, it, if I had my way, it would say president up there, but I don't know if enough of them think like that. Show me number five. Miss America. Uh, we'll be back right after this. Miss America. Two dollars. Quigley's eighty-nine dollars. Tony, come on up. Lovely Ruby, here we go. Ready for the face-off. <laughs> Shame, shame, Ruby. I didn't know. I thought it was... Just like a magnet, your hand went there. Right. This is important. Money in it, huh? This question, and all questions, until we get a winning family, dollar values are doubled. So it's important. Surveyed 100 people. The top five answers are on the board behind me to this question. Name something with bubbles. Tony. Bubble bath. A bubble bath. May I see bubble bath? Oh. There it is. 16 people out of 100 said it. $32 in the bank. There's one answer. You don't even have to buzz in now, Ruby. One answer even more popular. Something with bubbles. Soap. Soap. Is there any soap? Yes, there is. Keep it. Play but you play control play the bank. Play it. Play it. Play it. They're going to play it, Ruby. Go back there. And we'll see if it works out. $58 in the bank. Three answers remaining. Becky. Something with bubbles. How about Speak up. wine? Wine? Mm -hmm. May I see wine? Is it there? Oh. First strike. First strike. Two more strikes, you'll lose control of the question. Bob. Champagne. <laughs> champagne. That's what. I love a little champagne. How many, if any, of our 100 people said champagne? <laughs> Number one. 47. Double it. 152. Jack, fantastic. Need something with bubbles? Two answers remain. Soda pop. Soda pop. Let's take a look. Is there any soda pop up there? Uh. Oh, wow. That's your second strike. Little Barbara, two answers remain. You have two strikes on you. I need something with bubbles. I've been on this kick lately of bubble gum. Bubble gum. Let's take a look. If it's there, you'll stay alive. Show me bubble gum. Four people said it. That means $8 going to the bank, 160 there. Two strikes against you. One answer remains. Tony? Waterfall. A waterfall. A gem of an answer if ever I've heard one. If waterfall is up there, you've made a clean sweep. You'll remain our winning family. If Waterfall is not there, the burgers will get a chance to steal. 
Show me a waterfall. Talk it over right now. Don't whisper, talk. All right, come on. Uh, Al Castell for shampoo. 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 Gary says shampoo. If shampoo's there, you're going to steal the money that they built up so carefully. You'll be the new winning family. But if shampoo is not there, Quickly's will remain in charge. Show me shampoo! Uh, you got it! Oh, I never even heard that. That, yeah? Oh, I didn't even hear that. Gary now said I should have gone with Alka-Seltzer. I never even heard anyone come up. That sounds well, like a great say. answer. Somebody I don't know what's there. Yeah. Let's take a look. Number four. That is a wonderful, wonderful. Well, there's $249, and what can we tell you? We have prizes for you all. Okay, well, Thank we you. you. Hey, Thank you were a delight. Hey. Let me give you a kiss. Lily, I still love you. Mwah! You little rascal, Mallory. And Leslie, I'll never forget you. You're going the wrong way. Right over there. All right. Who's going to play? I uh, work the four, so me and my buddy Bob will Come go. on out here. Who's going to go first? Bob. All right, go to your room, please. Bob, try not give me a heart attack this time, all right? Okay. We'll take a commercial, and we will return. For the team that did it the last time we got together, you got over $5,000. You can do it now. Jack cannot hear a word. He's in a soundproof booth. I'll ask you five questions. You give me five answers in 15 seconds. Try and think of the most popular answer. We pay you $5 for every point. If you and Jack get 200 points, we'll pay you another $5,000. All right, Bob? All right. Okay. 15 seconds, please. Good luck. Name a fruit in a can of fruit cocktail. Grapes. A kind of terrier. Uh, fox. Something sticky. Glue. A game that uses a ball. Bowling. Something found in a schoolroom. Pencil. All right, that's five. Turn around. We're going to see how you did. I said, name a fruit in a can of fruit cocktail. And you said, grapes. And our survey said, 20. Not a bad start. A kind of terrier. You said, fox. Our survey said 48. Oh, Bob, you got 68. Something sticky. You said glue. Our survey said 22. The way to go. You got 90 already. Game that uses a ball. You said bowling. Our survey said. That means at least two people did not say bowling, so it was not included in the Fast Money survey. But you okay. still got 90. Something found in a schoolroom. You said a pencil. Our survey said... Oh, wow. You, you still got 90. Clear that board, please. Much better than the last time That's we right. got together. <laughs> you go back, I'll break the news to them, all right? <laughs> Hi. Better. Not good, but better. <laughs> you only need 110. Okay. Last time we played, you needed 140, and you did it. Right. You can do it again, okay? I'll try. I'll ask you the same questions that I asked Bob. You cannot duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer, all right? Okay. Harder, so we're going to give you extra time. Remind everyone, please, the answers that Bob gave us. Then give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. And good luck. Name a fruit in a can of fruit cocktail. Pears. A kind of terrier. Wild hair. Something sticky. Glue. Try again. Gum. A game that uses a ball. Baseball. Something found in a schoolroom. Chalk. That's five. <laughs> Turn around. I said name a fruit in a can of fruit cocktail. You said pears. Our survey said ten. You got one hundred. Cherries, number one answer. Kind of terrier. You said wire hair terrier. Our survey said Zero. Fox Terrier was number one. You're 100 points away. Something sticky we asked for. You said gum. Our survey said 33. Number one answer, gum. 
67 points away from the big money. A game that uses a ball. You said baseball. Our survey said 41. That's the number one answer. You're 26 points away. You're going to do it again? We said name something found in a schoolroom. You said chalk. You need 26 points. Our survey said five. You didn't make it. Desk was the number one answer. Five dollars for every point. We get a grand total of $895. Oh, I thought you were going to do it. There is no way you can lose by getting $895, right? Yeah. We'll take a commercial and we will return. $6,441. Okay. And you get a chance to meet another family, but we do that the next time, all right? What we want you to do is every day watch us. Be nice to a neighbor. Give them a smile. Makes a whole world of difference. We love you right here on The Family Feud. Thank you.